The, uh, the old people or the bad spirits, some of them call them Murrays, can change the country on you. So, you know, I'm pretty good with, with walking around the country and knowing my way around and taking in, um, taking in the country, the, the landscape, the landmarks, things like that, and then working out how to get back. But they say that these spirits can change things around. And you'll get lost out here. Jordan! Thank you from here. Yeah? Yeah, is it like that out here? Yes. Yeah. Good morning guys, what an amazing night, <laughs> sitting around here and Pop Racks tell stories. Um, I'm going to send the drone up in a sec, you can hear brogas everywhere, a couple just flew straight through camp, huge big brogas, so cool. Um, See, so yeah, I'm just making coffee for everyone and then I will, yeah, send the drone up and then we're going to load the car back up and I think we've got about a 15 minute run um, still to get to the river pushing through the bush here uh, we were just exhausted yesterday afternoon to get to this point we had um i don't know we probably did about 60 kilometers yesterday from back when you saw us where we got the turtle and then pushed all the way back out through that bush um back towards the coast and then back onto another track and pushed into here and it was just rough as guts towing this trailer into here so um we finally just set up camp, I was buggered, and um, sat around the fire and told stories, had that crack, had the um, turtle, which was amazing. <clears throat> oh yeah, we're going to keep pushing on today and get to the get to the river, have a fish, try and catch a fish for brekkie, and then push further out and get to the old mission. But first thing first, it's coffee. Good coffee too. <laughs>
see that vine going up the tree. It's got the heart leaf. Yeah. That That's a wild yam. That's a wild yam. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you just go down to the... Yeah, we just dig them all out and strain it and put them in the column. Yeah? You've been column them about that long. Yeah. But they put them baby in? Yeah, yeah. We so put them in there. Oh, when, you, when you want to cook it, you cook it on the coals? Yeah, we boil them up and cook them. Yeah, we cook them on a coal. Then we strain them and get a, some, some sort of a strainer. We make them out of the cabbage palm. Make the strainer out of the cabbage palm? Cabbage palm, yeah. We've arrived at the river. Looks pretty good, still pretty early. Jordo's getting a hit. Had a couple of bumps already. Yeah, I reckon I'll get him. He's just down here. Did you see him? Yeah, he's like right on the edge of oh, the Oh yeah, look at the snag there. Oh yeah. Hopefully I didn't spook him. Oh, so close. Oh. Here, you hold the camera and I'll fish. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We've got 5% battery left. Come on, mate, get this fish. Mm. No, I'm kidding. Take your time. Come on. Mm. He's done it. Oh, no. Oh, that's where he is. We drove past a wild yam. Oh yeah, oh man, every time he's hitting it. He's just, he's just playing with my feelings. Don't tell Jordan, but I took his trebles off last night <laughs> while he was asleep. <laughs> yes, yes. Little barra. Little fella. He might get off. Well that took five minutes, <laughs> not even, <laughs> we got Bracky. It's a good little one, I've got some flies here. Was he just hooked? Just hooked. Look at that. Some meteries. So we got the little one, the little boy. You got the sun. Right. Yes. Are we waiting for a big one or? Yeah, well, we'll go along. Okay. Put him back. Yeah, if you want to check him back. Oh, well, we catch two of these. That'll be yeah, that'll be brecky. Yeah. Hey, two of them. Breakfast, yeah. We might get the second luck. Yeah, exactly. 
So Pop Rex just said there's some big crocodiles in here. But there's a crossing, hey? Yeah, just around the corner. Crossing from back in the old days. So this is, well, we're almost at the site where the old mission was. Pop's saying it's further up the river there. You'd have to cross the river to get to it. And you can see here it's still tidal, but up where the crossing was is um, the change from salt water to fresh water. Oh yeah. Oh, how good is this place, guys? How good is this? No, I don't think they hit hard. Oh, they're hitting hard here. Now I can't keep this guy because I caught it. And I reckon he's just undersized. Little guy on the big slim twitcher. He'd be maybe 55 centimeters, so he's he's too small for me to keep. I'm gonna throw him back, mate. Yeah, all good, mate. Yeah. Galden's running a vibe. Me and Jordan have got hard body lures on. Galden's chosen a vibe. You ever seen any big crocs in here? No. No. They'll be in here though, eh? Yeah, they will be, but I don't know. I never seen one in here yet. Oh, we'll fly the drone down soon along the river. See if we can find one. Oh, look at this snag. Jordan's under it. I love when it's really still like this and you can actually hear the fit. You can hear the bite. Yeah. The implosion. Are they um, little croc slides over there? Is that? Over there? Yeah. Oh, they are. They don't go right up to the... It looks like it. Yeah, you can almost see the tail, can't you? Yeah. There you go. A couple of little croc slides over there by the look of it. And then this side, this is all cattle. Cattle coming down for a drink. <laughs> This is what it's all about. I love this stuff. Just walking a brand new river, flicking snags you've never flicked before in the middle of bloody nowhere. And especially doing it with the traditional owner and the boys. Hearing stories along the way. So cool. So one story is, um, what is it? One story is uh, Pop Rex's grandfather. I think it was his grandfather. Um, Billy, Billy Flower is his name. Was a bit of an outlaw, a real funny bugger, so he, he used to get into a lot of trouble, which I think is where Pop Rex gets his like sense of humour from. He used to get into a lot of trouble and the, and the native police, police were chasing him around, all around the countryside, trying to bring him into a mission. And he just wouldn't come. <laughs> Pop Rex told us a story last night that they actually caught him at one stage. And they're walking him across country here towards um, to take him to Palm Island. And at night, they'd chain him up to a tree, all the Aboriginal fellas. And he'd found something during the day and he had it in his mouth, he was chewing on it. And at night, when they chained him up, he uh, put it into the lock, undid the lock, slipped out and took off. <laughs> they thought they had him. Billy Flower, they thought they had Billy Flower. What do you reckon, guys? Maybe that little point down there. Yep. Oh, what is that? Little caddy. Nah, it's a little barra. Look at that. Tiny little barra. Oh! 
Did you see that? Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> I just pulled the lure straight out of its mouth. Oh, man. So when these barramundi feed, what they do is they, eyes on top of the head, they come up like this with their nose close to it, and then they inhale. So they open their huge mouth, inhale all the water. The water comes out the back through their, gull, uh, their gills, and obviously the feed goes down the hatchet. So what you hear is like this implosion where it's sucking water in. It's amazing. It's so exhilarating. On the way back, sometimes you find with barra, if you miss one, it gets a bit of a, a bit of a fright. They'll um, kind of shut down. So we'll get him on the way back. So as I go through, I'm also looking for any um anything edible that I've learnt from the boys over the years. The one thing in particular I'm looking for they call a kunga berry. Um, which I think they're actually, well, us white fellas call them emu berry or emu balls or something like that. Um, to shrub about this high, like this, but a different leaf to that. Different leaf to that one. It's got these, these tiny little fruits on there that you can eat and spit the seed out. So I'm looking for them along the way. The other thing I'm always looking for is sugar bag. I absolutely love sugar bag which is native um well it's a native beehive and i've just found it up there in that big tree which is this tree which we could probably get up there if i boosted jordan onto that branch we'll grab the machete you see him buzzing around up there oh can he get to that though i don't think he can i'll go tell him they might have a way of getting up there Oh man, I'd love some of that on a damper. Yeah. Got little berries. And they got really black. Yeah, they're, they're good. Real sweet. Just the wrong time of year, hey? Yeah, Alright guys, so we're gonna do, um, we're gonna cook three of the fish that Jordan caught. Um, we're gonna cook them on the coals, right? So I've just gutted and gilled them. Um, being undersized fish, I'm not allowed to keep them. So I threw, I threw, I think the biggest one I got was probably 50 or 55. I threw that back because it's undersized. Um, but Jordan and Pop Rex and Galden, if they catch fish here on their traditional country, they can keep them no matter what size. So three fish on the coals. And then I wanted to show you guys, we're also gonna do, by the way, we're also going to cook up the guts and the air sack. I'm just going to put these in some alfoil with some butter and throw them straight on the coals. So they're the air sacks. Lay them out like that. And then these here, I'll show you quickly. These here are the guts, the fish guts. So I've cleaned them out. You basically give them a squeeze, turn them inside out, um, and tune out now if you're a bit not, you know, you don't like gooey kind of stuff, but basically you got an outlet. <laughs> You all know what that is, the asshole, And then the inlet. So this is connected right up to the mouth where the gills are. So I just turn them inside out like that. Give them a good clean. Then you can see there, there's the outlet. There's the gut lining itself. It doesn't look that flash, but it's absolutely delicious. So yeah, bit of butter, a little bit of salt in the... Um, turn it back in the right way. We've got three of those. In some alfoil, it'd be delicious. Butter. A couple of those. 
Okay, your funeral. Bit of gaps in the, in the air sac. Oh, how are you going to do that? Might as well throw it on the coals. What do you think? You like them? Yeah, they're pretty tasty, yeah. Let's do some butter and some salt. Pretty good. <laughs> Wrap them up. I got the big one on the collar, eh? Oh, you do? Okay. We got some coals already. Oh, yeah. Where's Jordan going? You getting anything? Is that how you check? Yeah. That's a good trick. <laughs> Just a bit of grass, like a green. <laughs> yeah, probably. Ooh. Breakfast is ready. But Jordan's. You guys know Jordan by now. He's obsessed with fishing more so than me. And he's taken off way back down here. Oh, Jordan, this just missed a big one. I should have brought my rod back. Really? And what, what happened? It wasn't hooked properly. Shit. Last, uh, it looks like that tide's coming in now. Yeah, I think it is. I can, I can feel the lure like just getting swept up. Yeah, whereas before it was going the other way. Yeah, hopefully the big fellas come in with the tide. Mm, yep. Alright, baritone. Fish cats? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. What a feast, eh? Hey? Mm -hmm. Brecky? Oh yeah, but I had a Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> You guys want to see some fish guts? Oh, Jordan's going for one. Mm. Good. I'll leave the big one for Pop. I'm going to leave this little baby on. It's actually one of my favourite parts of the fish. If not the favourite. Mm. I love it. I like the, the air, air sack and the air bag. You're there in there too. 
Mm. You ever had them bastard fried, shallow fried and oil? What is it? It's that air sack from right. inside the fish. Mm. Tastes like pork, I like, I like pork eating, crackle. I like eating them. Just on the coals? Mm. Mm. On the coals, yeah. Imagine making like a big ass sausage with that last. <laughs> Good, eh? Chris <laughs> sausage. Said two on tonight, eh? Chris sausage. What do you put in it? Put a bit of bacon with like Worcestershire in there. You got a bit of bacon. Oh, yeah. Have a bit of flavour. Bacon, Worcestershire, maybe some basil or, or oregano. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but we can put some oregano in it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Mmm. Maybe some tomatoes. Dice like dice them up. Yep. Alright, we'll do that. Catch another one. You like the small one, Pop? Yeah. They're fresh, they're um sweet, eh? Yeah. Young meat. Yep. Yeah. Young and better. Yeah. It tastes nice. <laughs> Here for a walk? How far did you walk? Oh, to the crossing. To the crossing? Oh, really? Is it far? You see the mango trees? No, it's way, way down. Oh, it's way down, is it? Yeah. Ah. the old crossing, eh? Yeah, that's the old crossing. Wow. Crossing. See the road there? Yeah. Straight through there. Straight through there. Where's this bloody Jordan? <laughs> when I start walking away, you know, the old fellas will take you from here. Yeah? Yeah, yeah is it like that out here? Yes. A lot of history here, hey? Yeah. You can see wallabies have been down here drinking. Wallaby and a dingo. They're dingo tracks, that's wallaby. Wonder how far you walk? Yeah? Do you have to walk it? No. Oh, is it? Uh, Pushing him with his cart with his tire. Come on, let's go up here around the corner. Yeah. Look for a deep hole. So that crossing back there behind us was, um, that's the crossing to the old mission. So, you know, nowadays it's Kawanyama, place of many waters. Um, Kawanyama used to be called the Mitchell River Mission. Um, 
but that was moved there in 1915. So 1905 to 1915, the mission was on the other side of the river there. And obviously the cattle stations in the area didn't really like it because they couldn't, it was, it's kind of between them and the coastline and they couldn't use that bit of land. So eventually after the 10 years of being there, it, for, I don't know the exact reasons, but it was moved into Kawanyama. Um, now imagine it was there because that crossing is what it used to be. It used to be the change from fresh water to salt water. So it's right up the top of this river system. And um, there's a lot of history there, obviously. That's where the three clans, the Kokobera, Kokomanjana and the Kunjan were taken to that area. And apparently there's three separate areas to the mission um, for the three tribes. Now I'd love to go over there and have a look. But, you know, I'm here with Pop Rex and, and the boys and it's up to them what we do. So, you know, we're not going over there. Um, and I've got to do the right, the respectful thing and stay with them. But, yeah, I imagine there'd be a lot of history over there. Um, apparently there's some big mango trees and concrete slabs and all sorts of stuff. Still no Jordan. We wait for him or what? I'll go back and get him. Oh. Alright, we lost Jordan. <laughs> he's busy fishing again. You guys know what he's like. <laughs> he's addicted. His eyes roll back in his head and he just keeps casting. So yeah, 1905 to 1920. Ah, oh, sorry, 1905 to 1915. What's that? 100 and, 107 years ago, they stopped using that mission. Right there behind me, that was the crossing. So the old people would have been walking this area right here. Come in here to a place like this with someone like Pop Rex, whose grandfather I was talking about before, old Billy Flower. You know, they were chasing him down to try and get him there into that mission and he just, he just wouldn't do it. I'm gonna cut through here. Um, it's really special. So if you're watching Pop Rex, I'm sure you will be, because you said you've watched a few of our episodes. Thank you, mate. I really appreciate it. You, you're coming out here and camping for the night. Showing me the old crossing. It's an amazing bit of history. I'm sure there's a few bloody taipans poking around in here. Jordan! So in Aboriginal culture, um, the old fellas talk about this a lot <laughs> and it's playing on my mind right now. When we're just walking back down there to the river, to the crossing, and we didn't have Jordan with us. Pop Rex said, he's like, where's that boy? He's got to stay with us or the old people, the old people will get him lost. And he was serious, you know, and I've heard um, Pop Killer which is Lindsay over in um, over in Normanton talk about this, where the old people, you know, if you're not if you're not welcome on country, it's not just the old people. It's you know some bad spirits and that. They can they can make you get lost in this bush, in this country of theirs. That's why it's really important to get blessed to country. So that you are welcome there and the old people, the spirits, know that you're allowed to be here, you're welcome. And it plays on your mind when you walk off by yourself. Oh, there's a big goanna on the other side of the river. He was huge. He was bloody nearly six foot long. Yeah, it definitely plays on your mind when you're out here on your own. Like I am now looking for Jordan. Jordan!
it plays on your mind, right? So they call it being bushed, and the uh, the old people or the bad spirits, some of them call them Murrays, can change the country on you. So you know, I'm pretty good with with walking around the country and knowing my way around and taking in um, taking in the country, the the landscape, the landmarks, things like that, and then working out how to get back. But they say that these spirits can change things around. You'll get lost out here. That's worth a cast over there. So there's all, <laughs> there's all different ways to look at it, you know? Like you think they make you get lost. You know, I was just following the track back to Jordan to where he should have been. And, um, you know, now I'm starting to think I shouldn't have left the track, but it makes you wonder, like, what do these spirits do? How do they change the landscape? What do they change? What goes through your mind? You know, did they make me come off the track and walk to the river? <laughs> it really messes with your head. Little crocodile. Oh, he just went under. Little crocodile there. So look who I found, Jordo. <laughs> Jordo went the other way down the river. Opposite we walked. Direction. We walked all the way back to camp, and then I was like, "I'll send the drone up. I'll find him." Sent the drone up, and Jordo walks back into camp from the other direction with two big barra. Yeah. So now we're going back down here. Had to go back down here and tidy up a bit. <laughs> Good one. What's he done? Buried ya? hooked one under there and I threw it back and then hooked this fella. I saw the other one swim off. Turn your head. Nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. You good, yet, mate? I got your baggie. Cheers, mate. Yes. <laughs> nice one. He felt a bit. Oh. He felt a bit bigger than he was. But... Oh, he's healthy though. Like that Look thickness at... there is yeah. where it's at. Yeah. That's a good fish. Cheers, mate. <laughs> You're a legend. <laughs> You're doing good today. Tell three, you what. 360 pluses. Yeah, that's a ripper. As soon as I hooked him, I went through like. Like you know how you're on a job site and you, you go through all the hazards yeah, and stuff yeah. like that? I started going through that and then like I was like, alright, I got him away from the snag. And I looked down and I was like, shit, big bang snag! <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Mm. I think we're taking him back for a cook-up tonight. Uh-huh. We've got a few people to feed. Yep. I got, got the perfect amount. Yeah, you wanted three, didn't you? Three. Yeah, I got three. I want one too. Yeah, yeah. One. For a good feed, so let's try, try that snag over there, mate. Geez, he felt a lot bigger than, than what he was, but that. Like yep. Oh, nice, mate. Right. Okay. You just hang this fella up. Come on. Ah, oh, it broke. Come on. Oh, it's all good, it's not huge. Yeah, they're hitting hard though, hey. They are, man. Just good, healthy fish. Look at that, guys. Bloody ripper. 
Very nice. Little ripper. Do one on it. Just a little rat. This little fella on the slim twitcher was just sitting hard, hard down. No. Right on the snag. No. All right, well, we've got a feed for tonight now, so we're gonna head back to the cruiser, pack up the gear, and I suppose start heading back. We're gonna have a big cook up tonight with Jordan's family. Yeah. Shout out to them for inviting us bloody dirty mob from Normanton. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't had a shower in a while. <laughs> Round to their place for a cook up. Apparently we're doing some um, what do you call them? The buns? Bread bun things? Yeah, buns and um, camp oven bread. Camp oven bread and some barra. So, yeah. I've got a few barra here to take take over there for them. Good, that's good coming out with the whole bun. Straight up that I look Well, that's what they, they, they were in the bloody water out. They were swimming for shell and you know, water level. Mm. Like that one you saw in the run. Yeah. Swimming from that. Him, <laughs> you had, I mean, he had big mobs. Big mob kids. Frog and I mean, two. Two little snotty mouths. Frog and he also tied by and got out of here. Make a fire from the shower. Yeah, boy. Well, he was swimming around there with the shower. The dog was still one kid. She still messed with them. We had a big fight. The <laughs> dog wanted he more kids. the dog over there. <laughs> he had a blood on his head. <laughs> I'm going to hit the immune and broke his bloody arm. Hey guys, Jordo here. That's a wrap for this episode.
Go on, get another one in there. Come on, there's got to be one in there. Shit car, shit car, shit car. <laughs> we'll, edit, we'll edit that one out. <laughs> How's he doing? Yeah, you're probably able to get up and get him we'll out. Cool. Jordan's lost the last slim twitcher, so he's he's doing any, lost it yet. anything he can. Now, there's a barra on the end of the line out there. What's a oh, mullet? I really don't see how I'm going to get this, but I'm giving my best effort. What's in there, bro? Better try to. Oh, it's, it's not gonna work. Can you tap something on it? Wait. Yeah. Hey, I don't know the fucking tree. I don't need to get that. that You're that kidding thing. me. What is a fucked up day, this? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. It's so good, I'll be able to climb up there. <coughs> if you undo one end, you'll be able to pull it through, won't you? It's like, caught through from the ground. But how did it even happen? Did it go over that branch? I, wasn't, I don't know. I mean, wrapped around it. That's it. You've got it. This is pretty amusing, eh, pup? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even had a sip of my bloody coffee yet. <laughs> Alright, let's all get on it, eh? I suppose we just go through both of them. Through there, no, we just go there. through there and through the other one. Pull oh, it, yeah. pull it back like a big loop, eh? Yeah. And then, wait. Oh, yeah. sorry. And then through that one. Through that. Uh, no, no, no. Sorry. Put it through. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put that through that. Put that through that. Like that. Get it, get it, get it! It's like someone else has been stuck on that. Oh, is that it? The swimmer? Oh, I can't even see. Oh. Good snap. That snapped it. <laughs> now we lost the rope. <laughs>